Rising tuition costs seem to be all that we can talk about in the news today. Since the 1960s, the tuition rate of public and private higher education facilities has seen tuition rates go up by the thousands. On the surface, it makes no sense. The amount of Americans who have completed higher education has gone from just 23% in 1990 to over 34% in the present day. It would seem as though schools can charge less to provide the same resources for more paying students, and yet the University of Illinois is even losing much of its state funding. In the beginning of 2015, former Governor Bruce Rauner announced the implementation of some deep budget cuts in higher education. As a result, our 2016-2017 school years here at the University of Illinois will have completely trimmed 20 to 30 percent of our school's expenditures. As a result, our group has set out to explore the effects of various groups and clubs and what the average student knows about budget crisis in Illinois. Um, I play for the UIUC broomball team. Basically, broomball is like regular hockey, except it's not with like a regular hockey stick and a puck. It's more like sneakers on ice with a paddle and a, like a foam dodgeball. Um, about two seasons. And at first it was pretty fine, like everybody's having fun, but then as it started getting later and later in seasons, we started having not as much money, and so it started getting a little bit more difficult to play. Um, it's free player to player, so you don't really have to play or pay to play, but um, actually recently we just got an announcement that our club is running out of money, so we don't have enough to rent out the ice arena for this next week of games, so it's been a little bit difficult. It is not uncommon that many programs are seeing spikes in their dues. We asked another student how it affected him personally, and he offered his own opinion on what the problem is. So what do you think about the rising tuition costs and the associated budget cuts? Um, the increased uh, tuition costs were to be expected after the tax cuts with the rounders plan. Um, it makes sense just because he had to cut a lot of the funding for the public school program. Um, unfortunately, the school is not able to uh, like kind of level it out by decreasing funding for other less important programs. But um, what was the second part of your question? Um, just you know the associated budget cuts that kind of come with the rising tuition. And oh, okay. Well, um, there's a lot of things at this school that have made me mad regarding budgets and uh, things that they invest money in. For example, our sports pro programs invested a ton of money into those things and haven't really seen any return. We end up losing a ton of money on those investments too. I forgot what study it was, but there was a study recently that a lot of schools lose money that they invest in their sports programs. They only continue to do so because it's like um, they think that it'll maintain uh, uh, attendance at the university. I mean, think about this for our football program. I'm going to go back to it. Um, so we probably shell a ton of money into our football program. Absolutely just a, a crazy amount of money. You know, promotions, all that crap, stadium, upkeep, you know, all that stuff. And we just hired a new head coach who right now isn't making money, uh, that much money, you know, comparatively. But he's going to be making, like, wasn't it like, doesn't it jump up to $2 million or something? Um, I know it starts at, I think, one point two. I don't know if and when the jump. It, it jumps up is, though. It, it, it's like, cause isn't it a six-year deal? It, it's something like that. It's, I don't it's remember. Relatively long -term. I don't remember what it was. Honestly, I couldn't tell you the numbers, but I know his salary increases the more he stays here. Whatever. I thought that was a good decision because that should be creating more interest in our football team, which should thus generate more money from tickets. So. You're pretty much saying they're not really um, necessarily sucking money from the fraternities, 
but they're spending money on kind of limiting their actions. Is that kind of what you're getting at? I mean, yeah, you could definitely say that. And it's not uh, isolated to fraternity issue, like fraternity bomb. You could kind of say that about any aspect of the University of Illinois. They okay. kind of seem to shell a lot of money into things that don't, shouldn't really matter. And then, I mean, I remember when I was a freshman here, we were spending our highest paid person at this school was a coach that didn't even coach here. What? Are you kidding me? That's a joke, right? Oh my gosh. It's, it, uh, this school spending is an absolute joke. They're idiotic with their money. Absolutely idiotic. So what, what do you think the biggest problem is? Because it seems like you're thinking the, uh, the spending is you know, more so than just the funding. Like, it's, we're just mismanaging spending I as think opposed the to not people that run, Now, this is a personal opinion, obviously, sure. but I think that the people that run the school are inherently greedy, uh, and it's due to many factors. First of all, they spend a ton on the fa uh, faculty. Absolutely, uh, just as, as I went over before. But, I mean, think about it like this. Look at foreign, uh, foreign students, okay? They pay double what any other student like that comes from the, within the United States they pay double what we pay. So they have a ton of money coming in. Oh, and we have like one of the highest foreign student populations in the country. And, and where is all that money going? Because you're making 200%, uh, uh, like 100% more money off those students. Where is all that money going? I think it's like a ridiculous amount of like our student population percentage wise. I would have to look it up to see what it was. But you know, where is all that money going? It doesn't make sense. Either whoever's running our uh, budget system is incredibly stupid, or they're just greedy and they're just sucking the money and they're creating bonuses for people that honestly don't deserve them. The Illinois budget crisis has its roots and problems with our pension system. In theory, the state is supposed to allot a certain amount of money every year to go towards its pension system. But the amount that the state has actually been allotting is far less than what is necessary to maintain fiscal solvency. This is fairly convenient for politicians because they get to not pay wages at least as much as they would ordinarily be and promise workers that they'll end up paying pensions, but they can defer payment by not funding the pension program as much as they should. Now virtually all states do this, but Illinois has one of the lowest funded to unfunded liability ratios, about 45% in the nation. Most state governments, unlike the federal government, have balanced budget provisions that require them to balance their budget over a fiscal year. That's why the budget crisis in Illinois has come about. It's because increases in spending are necessary at this point to keep the pension system solvent, but the state is unable to fund this increased spending using bond sales like the federal government could. Therefore, taxes must either be raised or spending cut, and as you can imagine, the Republicans and the Democrats are, very, are finding it very, very challenging to come to an agreement. So for the past 10 months, we haven't had a budget, and now the pressure is on for finding areas to cut spending in. Because education spending is a significant expense for the state government, it's logical that cuts are going to be made there. Most universities do receive funding from the state in the form of grants and financial aid to students, so unfortunately, cuts will be very damaging to the finances of the university system. An example of the problems that this situation will cause if left unremedied are the MAP grants, which are monetary awards that are given to students to decrease the burden of college attendance. Due to the budget standoff, universities have not been awarded the funds to make these grants, and many universities are considering asking students to reimburse the MAP grants if money for the program is not allocated for in the state budget.